eh, was speaking at State House whilst presiding over the swearing in of the new Chief Justice Ali Nawaz Johan and two other judges. Momodu Jalo reports. Of office, allegiance and secrecy before the President of the Republic, His Excellency Sir Professor Al Haji Dr. Yahya Jame, and Cabinet Ministers. I, Ali Nawaz Johan, having been appointed as Chief Justice of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Emmanuel Ulusegun Fabele, having been appointed as President of the Gambia Court of Appeal of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will execute the functions of the office of the President of the Gambia Court of Appeal of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Onedi Uko Uduma, having been <coughs> appointed as judge of the High Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will execute the functions of the office of judge of the High Court of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. The three judges let us sign the swearing register. The Pakistani-born Ali Nawaz Johan is the new Chief Justice who takes over from Mabel Ajiman. Justice Johan is an accomplished lawyer with international experience, having served in The Hague. Justice Emmanuel Olesegun Fambele has also served in the Gambian judiciary for more than a decade and has now been elevated to the position of President of the Gambia Courts of Appeal, whilst Justice Uledu Uko Udoma was also appointed as a High Court judge. Prior to this appointment, she was a legal practitioner and legal aid. In a brief speech, the new Chief Justice said he was honored to occupy such a privileged post and thanked President Jami for the honor describing the Gambian leader as brief. Justice Navas Johan also praised the Gambian Constitution as a wonderful document which places so much emphasis on democracy, human rights, and strong state institutions. I'm happy to note that rule of law exists in this country. The Constitution, Gambian Constitution, is a wonderful document which I have read. The unique parts are Article 214, which talks of its, its dedication to democracy, to peace, prosperity, and to justice. He gave his word that he would work tirelessly to meet expectations. This sad but inspiring speech by the new Chief Justice was warmly received by cabinet members who expressed the hope that the new man at the top of Gambia's judiciary would help expedite the backlog of cases, something of major concern to government. And we want to reassure you that you will receive the support of the cabinet, you will receive the support of the Gambia government to ensure that the Gambian people receive the justice that they are seeking for. I would like to encourage the chief, new, newly appointed Chief Justice to, to work well with your colleagues. The job of the Chief Justice is not a difficult one, but it's a, you need to be committed to the job. It doesn't only require you to be an adjudicator, but you not, need to be an administrator as well. And in order to be an effective administrator, you need to work, work well with your staff, carry them along in all that you do. And I have no doubt in my mind that you will do an excellent and fine job. And whatever you need from the government, because I know that there are instances when you would need something from us as well. The Attorney General's office is open. She, she represents us at the level of the executive. And she can also facilitate, she and her team, of course, can facilitate your access to anything that any of us should, be able to, should provide so that you can make your work easy. For a president who places so much importance on the judiciary and justice delivery, President Jami didn't mean his words, reminded the three appointees and his audience that every appointment comes with responsibility, and the challenge, he said, is to meet the expectations of the Gambian people. 
Justice Nawaz Johan's knowledge of the Gambian constitution struck well with the president's expectations, who unequivocally assured them of his faith in their ability and integrity. Justice is universal, but constitutions are unique. You are, you are sworn in as Chief Justice of the Gambia to implement Gambian law. These laws are not promulgated by the president. They are promulgated by the people of the Gambia so that every Gambian and anybody in this country would live according to the laws of this country so that there will be peace and order in this country. The president also dismissed the positive notion of complete independence of any judiciary anywhere, emphasizing that the judiciary, like the other arms of government, is an inseparable organ of the state, but was quick to assure that the executive would not interfere in cases before the courts. The judiciary is independent in only one uh, uh, aspect, how you judge you are independent. But if you become, how can the wheel of a car or the steering wheel be different, be independent of the car? It's not possible. You are part of the government, and so you cannot be independent of government. What government cannot do is dictate to you what judgment, what your judgment should do. This is where your independence is. Apart from that, you are, there is nowhere in the world where the judiciary is independent of government. The Gambia leader also advised the judiciary to work according to the laws of the Gambia as enshrined in the Constitution, saying the Gambia would not be dictated to by any power in the name of good governance, as this record over the past 20 years speaks for itself. If you stand up and be independent, especially for a Muslim, you are a dictator. I'm proud of that title. I'm proud to be a dictator of development and liberation of, for my people than a Democrat that will rob my people and plunge them into abject poverty. I will never be that Democrat. Facts and fiction. The beauty of fiction is that it's so intriguing, but you never lay hands on it. The beauty of facts is so blatant that you can never deny it. What do I mean by that? Good governance, yes. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat because I'm not a follower, I'm a ruler. I rule according to the interests of my people, and that's it. I didn't rule this country for 400 years, but at least today people are seeing me on television, even in UK. I have a university today. Even the children of beggars can go to university. It's not based on whom we know, but what they know. The three new officials listened keenly as President James spelled out his vision and mission, as well as his expectations of the judiciary, which by all accounts has taken another step with the appointment of these three experienced judges. Mohamed Jalo, GRTS. Time now to take a second break. Service is the Gambia's fastest and cheapest 4G fixed wireless internet. With QCell's 4G, you can access the internet at unbeatable speeds on your laptop or desktop computer. You can also use your mobile or tablet to browse the internet via Wi-Fi. QCell's 4G internet can keep you connected either in your home or in your office. For a limited time, get 50% off regular equipment and 100% off corporate equipment, as well as free installation and free QCell credit. For more information, call 333-3253 or 333-3104. QCell 4G Internet. Fast, affordable and reliable. QCell. SUNY Bus. The Gambia's Quality Network. And before we end this edition of the news, a reminder of the day's top stories. President Jame has said that his administration would safeguard the judiciary in its dispensation of justice based on the laws of the land. Food security experts have gathered on the auspices of the Agriculture Ministry to strengthen their assessment skills. Authorities in Niger have given due pressure and extradited Sadiq Gaddafi, son of former Libyan leader Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, to his home country. And dead but not forgotten, Venezuelans have been holding somber ceremonies to remember former President Hugo Chavez, who died a year ago. Well, that's all in this edition of the news. Thank you for watching. We'll be back at 10 with another bulletin.